Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakup dynamics, how to get your life back after she breaks up. <coughs> By the way, these tactics work whether you are the one initiating the breakup or she's, you know, the reason why I created this program originally is for men who are in the breakup zone when their girlfriend or wife is breaking up with them. But basically the dynamics of breaking up are you know, very similar whether you initiate the breakup or, or you don't. Uh, you might be a little bit more vulnerable if she's the one initiating the breakup. So here is a core thing that happens when you're in the breakup zone. A lot of you, a lot of your being might be looking into the past and say, oh, I want to get back with her. I want her in my life. She, we were so good for each other. She was, we were meant for each other. No, you were not meant for each other. Otherwise, you would not be breaking up. <laughs> you know, it's really that simple. So the mindset's the idea is that I won't find anybody like her. Uh, she was perfect. Um, all these mindsets are, are mindsets that keep you in the past. They are trying to recover something that gave you comfort and love and bliss and connection. And you are just like, I want this back. I want the past back. So here is something that you need to know. In 95% of the cases, getting back together doesn't work. Before you go like, oh, I'm probably the 5% that is going to work. Wait for a second. Wait right there. Because this mindset, this hope that you have of getting back together might be the very specific thing that stops you from moving on. So a lot of the programs online about breakups, you check them out, you go like, they are all a lot of them are talking about how to get back together. This is not the purpose of this program. The purpose of what I'm showing you here is how to get your life back, how to go back to yourself. Why? Because in my experience, I checked it out and I see how men with the hope of getting back with their ex, they are still hooked on that. You are still emotionally addicted to somebody who is no longer in your life. And so you have to cut the cord. You have to recenter your life. You have to recenter on yourself and then design the rest of your life from a different place. So here is why getting back together fails in 95% of the cases. And I don't have the exact stats, of course. You know, I'm giving you here an idea. Fails most of the time. You can put it like that. Why does it fail most of the time? It is because of a very, very sim simple reason. When you break up, you have what we call deal breakers. What are those deal breakers? It's like, um, you are a gambler, she doesn't want to date a gambler. Um, you have been neglecting her, she doesn't want to be neglected. You have been fighting way too much. You have been outgrowing the relationship or the connection. Uh, there are certain aspects of what she does or who she is that you really don't like and cannot tolerate in your life. She has been abusive or you have been being abusive. You know, there are certain deal breakers. So what I want you to do right now is identify what are the one to three core deal breakers or reasons why you are in the breakup zone right now. And she might be like, I met somebody else. There is somebody else that I love. Or she might be like, I actually, I'm no longer attracted to you. I no longer love you. Or she might be like, um, I feel like we are holding each other's back. Or we are fighting too much. And so very often what happens when you break up and try to get back together, you go back to the exact same situation that was there before. The deal breakers haven't been cleared. The deal breakers are still there, completely alive in your field and in your system. So you get back together, hoping, you know, we feel attraction. Okay, let's get back together. You get back together, within a day you are fighting back over the same exact stuff. And so what it takes to get back together is like checking the deal breakers, realizing exactly what they are, sitting in front of each other and being like, okay, here are the deal breakers that we have in our relationship or that we used to have. What are we going to do about it? You know, for instance, she might come to you and say, you work too much. You, you are overwhelmed by your work. You are stressed. Um, 
we are not getting back together un unless we solve that. And that's a very valid point. And so you have to identify the deal breakers and then design a strategy about what you are going to do about that. You work too much. You might be like, okay, well, from now on, I come back home at six every day of the week. I'm no longer taking work back home and I'm going to stick to it. And I'm going to promise to you that this is going to be my new way of relating to quality time with you. That's it. You can commit yourself to it. And then there is going to be a trial period that is going to be anywhere between one to three months where you test if the new tactics or the new strategies of relating to each other in uh, this relationship are valid and work and are sustainable. Most of the times, most of the times, when uh, I see couples trying to get back together, they try for like a day, two days, three days, a week, and then they go like, no, too hard, let's give up. And so if you want to shift those dynamics, first you identify the deal breakers, and then you identify exactly what you're going to do about it, and then you commit yourself to do something about it, to sustain that, to make it your top priority for the next one to three months. It's a commitment. It's a commitment for change. It's a commitment to evolve. Most people, when they get back together, they don't commit themselves to that. They go like, yeah, let's give it another try. And guess what? You keep on doing the same thing, you get the same results. There's no change. And so this is where there is a big loss of energy because you already know that before you even start. You know that this aspect of your relationship is not working. And so unless you have a, ro a real solid solution for that, I would say don't even try. Don't even try, don't even invest your time and energy into trying to make something work. That was uh, the precise, um, you know, the thing that, that these deal breakers uh, brought your relationship to, to an end. You have to identify the deal breakers, identify the tactic, and then commit yourself to make that change. And your, your ex might be like, okay, we have to go to therapy together. I want you to take a break from work, for instance, or I want you to communicate with my children from a, with a, different, from a different place. You know, whatever these deal breakers are, identify them, identify the strategy, and then commit yourself to do something about it. And if you're not ready to do that, and your ex is not ready to do that because it takes two committed people to make it work, it's not just one, it's not just two, it's like it has to come from a solid commitment from two sources, two places, two human beings saying, we are going to do whatever it takes to make it work. We are going to make it happen, okay? Unless you are ready to do that, don't even bother, don't even try because it takes a lot of effort, energy, and focus to shift core relationship dynamics. For the time being, remember that. Getting back together fails in 95% of the cases. Remove the hopes of her coming back into your life. Rebuild your center, rebuild your power first, and then you will realize that from that place you can then decide what you want to do with the rest of your life. I'll see you soon for another video.